Welcome again in the S Pro Advanced Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will explain how to use extrusions, sweep, swept blend, revolve, which are the main tools to create the shapes that we will use in the family creation. And to do that, I will use a generic model family. For this reason, I will go and press on a new family. Then I will choose the metric generic model template from this list. Then open. Then I will start by creating an extrusion. I will press on extrusion. Then using a rectangular section or a profile. Then apply. So I will have this extrusion. I can go to front view to see the limits of this extrusion from front view then i can go to 3d view let us make the view as shaded you can control this cube or extrusion by moving the arrows located at the faces let us go and create another extrusion with a different shape let us choose the hexagon file then finish if we go now to 3d view we can select the top arrow to adjust the height of this extrusion let us go to the next option which is blend We can draw at first the bottom profile of this blend. Let it be an hexagon. Then we have to choose top profile at the top. And now we need to draw the second profile. Let it be a little bit different as location to show the difference and finish. If we go now to 3D view, we can select the top arrow and we can see how this extrusion or blend look like. Let us talk now about revolve. Let us go to the level or the plan. We choose revolve. The first step is to draw the profile let it be rectangular profile for example we draw this profile then we have to draw its axis we press on axis line then finish if we go to 3d view we can see that we have this wheel we can adjust the limits by modifying the arrows let us do another one with circular profile again revolve we draw the profile then we draw the axis line and finish 3d view so we have this shape let us now try the sweep in the sweep we have to draw at first the path let us sketch the path we can use a line then a little curve another one then align and finish now we have to draw the profile so we select the profile it's better to go to another view like the 3d view to show the profile select the profile again edit the profile let us use the hexagon profile we draw it at the center 
and finish you need to know that you can change the path and the profile in any time so let us go now and create another shape using swept blend the swept blend is one of the most complicated shapes in which we have to draw a path or sketch a path let us go to the front view at first we have to set the work plane so let us select the work plane where we want to draw this pass let us draw an arc then we can adjust the curvature and finish then we can go to select the profile number one edit this profile let us draw an hexagon here this is our hexagon then finish then select the profile 2 edit the profile let us draw a circle and finish let us go to 3d view so the swept blend is a smart extrusion it will make for us a sweep and will make for us a transition between two different profiles we need to know that all these shapes could be created as voids we will see now what is the importance of a void I will make a void extrusion inside the first one let the offset here for example to be 500 millimeters I click on the space to draw the profile from inside and finish let us change the preview to be wireframe to see the void then I can adjust the limits from top and bottom of this void go back to shaded and we can see that there is a void created inside the first extrusion let us now use these voids in a smart way I will create a sweep void let us pick path on the top of one of the extrusions and then we can draw the profile let us go to modify select profile or edit the profile we can draw a circle then finish then finish so now we have this void cutting the extrusion and the most important thing is that it will be attached to this extrusion here there is one important thing that I want to highlight let us select this wheel from the properties palette you can modify in any time this extrusion to be solid or void let us do now the same exercise for the next extrusion I will press on sweep pick path and I will pick the boundary of the top profile then finish then I will select a profile and create an hexagon profile and finish so now instead of having a void we will have an extrusion attached to the top 
In any time we can select this extrusion to make it void and apply but when we make it void we have to let the void cut the extrusion and it will remain attached to the top of this extrusion do not miss our advanced videos subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends to give them the chance to enhance their experience